Have you heard of grapes hibernating? Here in Ningxia, winemakers bury the vines during the winter only for them to re-emerge during spring. Let's talk about this with Nicolas, who's a head consultant on this vineyard. Hello. Bonjour. 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 Comment allez-vous? Très bien. Merci. Vous. I'm from France. I'm from Bordeaux. And instead of staying in the chateau, I decided in 1987 to come here in China. And from here, I started from 2016, and it was a desert. We bury the vine here because we are in extreme climate, so we have to. If not, the vine will die. The berry have a different aroma because of its climate. Also, what is important here, we have no rain. It's raining only 100 millimeters. Also, you have wind, so there is no disease. The environment is very interesting to have good and very quality grapes. This is very important to us. Our philosophy is a good vineyard means good grapes, and from good grapes we can make good wine. I'm the winemaker and viticulturist for Stone Among Winery. I'm from Chile. I came to Ninxia because of the weather and the conditions to grow up wine. It's really a challenge for us to make wine here and also give you a new expression of wine. So I'm not always looking for that. The places that will give me a chance to develop other ways of making wine. Today I'm going to show you one of our icon Cabernet Sauvignon. If you want to try yeah. Um, I wouldn't know how to describe it though, could you help? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so basically Cabernet Sauvignon uh, usually get you a lot of uh, cranberry cherry character, very fruity, but here in Ninja because the weather and it's dry and hot, it gives me more a little bit on the overripe fruit character, sometimes you can have uh, the dark cherry character. After tasting different wines produced in Ningxia, I was pleasantly surprised to discover that Although they have their own distinct flavor compared to the French ones I'm used to, the quality is really on par with the wines produced in France. When I was chatting with Nicolas and Maria, I could feel their affection towards the land of Ningxia and the product they grow therein. Not only do I love Ningxia wines, but I also think that they have the potential to please wine enthusiasts all over the world 